Hi. Now what we have here is a question on the binomial expansion. We've got to find the first three terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 2 minus 3x all to the power 5, giving each term in its simplest form. So if you haven't tried this already and you want to give it a go, just pause the video, come back when ready and you can check your methods and solution against mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Now, you should be familiar with the binomial expansion. I'll do a recap, a quick recap in a moment, but you can always find tutorials on this on my website, examsolutions.net. Just look under the binomial expansion in the index. OK, well, there are various ways that you can do this, but one of the best ways, I think, is by using this particular formula a plus b all to the power n where n is a positive integer and we've got a positive integer here 5 it can be shown that this is identical to nc0 I'll explain what that is in a moment a to the power n times b to the power 0 and then we do plus nc1 we drop the power of a by 1, so it's now a to the power n minus 1, and increase the power on b by 1, so it's now b to the power 1. And then we do nc2, again drop the power on a by 1, so it's now a to the power n minus 2, and increase the power on the previous b by 1, so it's now b squared. And we carry on with this, okay, like this. Now, when it comes to working out nc0, nc1, nc2, and so on, you can use a calculator. There's another way called Pascal's triangle, which I'll show you as well. But if you're using a scientific calculator, there's every chance you'll have a button somewhere that's labeled NCR. And I'll show you how we go about using that in a moment. OK. So if we're doing this expansion, a plus b to the power n, in our case 2 minus 3x to the power 5, let's just write it down here. OK, we've got 2 minus 3x then, all to the power 5. What's it identical to? Try and write identical rather than equals because it's not an equation. Well, the a is the 2, the b is the minus 3x, and the n is the 5. So we've got nc0 be 5c0 okay 5c0 and then we've got a to the power n so that's the 2 to the power 5 put that in brackets 2 to the power 5 and then we multiply it by b to the power 0 b is the minus 3x okay take care on that one it's the minus 3x all to the power 0 so again put that in brackets then we have plus, we move on to the next term, the second term, which is going to be nc1. For us, it's going to be 5c1. 5c1. And then it's a2 for us. And we reduce the power by 1. So we have 5 there. We're now down to the power 4. And then we take the b value, minus 3x. Again, put that in brackets. And we increase the power by one more. So we had naught here, so it's now up to one. And we go on to the third term, so that's going to be 5c2. Reduce the power by one on the a part, so that's two now to the power three, and increase this b part by power, or another one, so that's going to be minus 3x all squared to the power two. So it did say, write down the first three terms in ascending powers of x. So we've got the first three terms here. Try not to leave it like this though because there would be more terms and say plus and so on. So we need to work out now what we mean by 5c0, 5c1, 5c2 and so on. Now if you were using your calculator 5c0, you just enter 5 into your calculator, press this key and then enter 0. 5c0 should come out at 1. And when you press 5c1, 5c1, 
turns out to be 5 and 5C2 turns out to be 10. So do check those out, okay? But I did say that you could get these values another way by Pascal's triangle. Pascal's triangle is something like this. I'll just quickly show you. We start, it's a, it's a kind of pattern of numbers. We start with a 1 and then we write two ones either side of it. And then we always start with a 1 and you can start to see it's getting a kind of triangular shape as we progress through this. And what you do is you add these two numbers together, 1 and 1, which is 2, and put it in the middle. And then you finish with a 1. And then we start with a 1, add the 1 and 2 together, giving us a 3, 2 and 1 together, giving us a 3, and finish with a 1. Do it again, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And we'll put one more row in, and we'll just put that in red now. 1 there, a 5 there, and 4 and 6 is 10. And I'll carry on with the other numbers as well afterwards. We'll just go back in blue, you'll see why in a moment. Then that'll be a 10, that'll be a 5, and that'll be a 1. Now 1, 5 and 10, we look at the power that we're using here, which is the power 5. We look along this row into the second uh, second value where you see the 5 which corresponds to the power and you take these first three values the 1, 5 and 10. Can you see this value here 5C0 well that's your 1 okay that is the 1 value let's just write that in here we'll say that this is identical to 1 all right times 2 to the power 5 2 to the power 5 is 32, and anything to the power 0 is just 1. And then we've got 5C1. Well, 5C1, we worked out if on the calculator, was 5, or it's this 5 here. Okay, so we'll do that in red, so that's 5. And then we're multiplying it by 2 to the power 4, which is 16. And then this is minus 3x to the power 1. Well, that's just going to simply be minus 3x. And then we've got plus 5c2. 5c2 on the calculator comes out as 10, or by Pascal's triangle, it is 10. And then we've got 2 cubed, which is 8. And then you've got minus 3x all squared, which is plus 9x squared. And you've got plus the other terms. So if we write this out now in ascending powers of x the first term is just simply 32 now if we work out the next term don't charge in and write a plus because you can see it's a minus here it turns out to be minus 240 x and then for the last term it's going to be a positive term and then when you work this out you get plus 720 720 x squared and again plus and so on okay so I hope that's given you a bit of background then as well on how we can use the binomial expansion methods to expand 2 minus 3x in this example to the power 5 all right